Hi guys, it's Marcus here. So uh, this is um, a quick video about uh, using Watson Conversation and uh, TJ Bot via the IoT platform. So um, there's a couple of videos out there, so you should have uh, the TJ set up um, and with my controller program. So um, the information is here, so you should have gone through this here at a minimum. Um, so what I had to do, like, here's the scenario we have, or we should have for now. So we have, uh, we can talk to TJ Bot. here, the microphone in uh, the Raspberry Pi, and you have the speaker, and we have this little controller program, which basically sends what we say um, back to Bluemix, to our Node-RED via IoT, MQTT messaging. We process the stuff in Node-RED, uh, we send back stuff to uh, to TJ Bot to move his um, arm and so forth. So what we wanted to add now is a conversation, so which will help us passing the this, the the text which we get back, and um, we have then intents, and it's it's much easier than passing a text manually. Um, also, would understand different phrases. So what I had to do is in my setup. Um, the only thing I really had to do is add these at the speech uh, at the conversation service. You can find my um, my workspace in uh, in the GitHub, and um, so that's what we had to do. So I had to train this guy a little bit. So again, you can just upload this and you you be fine. So here's some intents. So I have. Uh, for example, changing the color. So I can say, you know, TJ set the color to green, blue, red, and so forth. And then he knows what that is. And um, and the same for, uh, I added a couple more, what are the colors and um, what are the devices? I have an arm and the light. Um, I also have a temperature sensor in this guy. So, and then you basically can clear this. In the next session, I'm going to talk a bit about the context, so we can actually access context, uh, which we feed in via Node-RED. So here I can say, um, uh, for example, turn the light green, and then TJ will tell me, okay, I will change the light to green, which is the answer the speaker from TJ will send us back. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's get right into this. Let's move them back in here. So um, here is our code. Or not the pi, let's say. So I'm logged in here. I'm in um, uh, the directory which I need that might change. Um, so I'm just going to start my program here. Which then immediately will send us updates, messages. It initializes my uh, TJ bot. So we have the light on and so forth. So now we see here messages coming in. I can set the hot word, which is basically when he hears this, um, he's going to send us a text. So at the moment it's TJ. I'm going to send this hot word to PJ. So let's see if that changes. So my little program received it, changed the hardware to PJ. So here's the hardware PJ. So now we should be able to talk to him. PJ, what time is it? It is 1.17 p.m. So he's talking to, so he understands this. So it's basically what happens, it's, it's the same thing as I would type it into the conversation. What time is it? And it would tell the same thing. So let's go back to the flow real quick. So here's the flow. So you see, I get the MQTT messages from our controller program in here. Then I check for the hot word, which we set remotely. Um, if the text has a hot word, then I pass this to conversation here. And then conversation gives me back an intent, an entity, different entities, and then I can, can do stuff. So I can, you know, the same as before, I can pass the same comments basically 
two conversation and it will do the same thing. So I can move the arm. Okay, we'll raise my arm. Oh, that's already raised, so let's move forward. Okay, we'll move my arm forward. And then I can make a wave. Okay, we'll wave my arm. Right, and I can do the same with voice. PJ, turn your light off. PJ, turn your light off. Okay, we'll change the light to off. And then we can set it back on here, obviously. Okay, we'll change the light to blue. So that's basically we can do remotely control this guy now via voice and via action. So that's basically where we at. Um, so in the next phase or in the next video, what we're gonna do is. Um, I will <laughs> I will add uh, I will add a little text chatbot so that I can actually remote TJ when I'm not in the room or from from anywhere basically um, so I can ask him what the status is of the LED the arm maybe what the weather is uh, what his temperature is and so forth so that's for the next session if you have any questions to the conversation, I will upload the code. You can find it in my GitHub. Um, or you can see it in uh, on this website called uh, Pimp My TJ Bot. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, we go from there. Okay. Talk to you soon. Ciao.